Now, let's get to uh, some injury news. Okay, so I want to read out to you. This is over the last week, just the last week alone, and I might actually even be missing some of the you know the fringe, pl- fringe players, but yep. the last week alone. Mitch Moses, foot fracture, up to eight weeks. Reese Walsh, face fracture, four to six weeks. Nathan Cleary, hamstring, two to four. Lindsay Collins, hamstring, two to four. Scott Sorensen, knee, three to four. Bryce Cartwright, who has been named this week, uh, but it says he could be out for up to six to eight weeks. I mean, if he's broken his ribs, I don't know why he'd be playing this. That'd be insanity. Uh, Toby Rudolph, foot, four weeks. Dale Finucane, concussion, a week. Uh, Tua Picky, concussion, a week. Tino, ACL, done, season. Cotter, ankle, one to two weeks. Cam Murray has limped off training. Brendan Piacora, limped off training and will not play this weekend. Sandon Smith, elbow, three to six weeks. That is in one week of rugby league. Mm. What what do you, is there a concern here, Smithy? Is there is this just a really bad, you know, unlucky week? What do you reckon? Yeah, I, I think um on the most part, like if you look at some of those, a lot of them uh so like, you know, face fracture, um, head knocks, uh, foot fracture for Mitch Moses, that's they're a little bit unlucky. Um but when you look at the soft tissue stuff like the hamstrings, um, even ACL with Big Tino yeah, that's they're the concerning ones um, f- for me anyway. And this has a, been a recurring thing with with Nathan Cleary. He, if you remember, it was last year, wasn't he? Did his hamstring just yeah. about six weeks? So um, I don't know. I, like, is it is it because of the current game and the way it's played? Um, I don't know. Just this weekend, it just seems like there's, there's just carnage for all the players playing out there and. Um, I guess that that would be a discussion that would be going around the clubs at the moment is is are we is the game and the form in which it's played at the moment is it looking after the players um as far as injuries concerned or are we just seeing more and more soft tissue injuries because there's no doubt there's there is no doubt about it um the game has never been faster um than it is right now in which the way it's played with particularly with new rules that have been introduced, Kempi. Um, and also adding to that, I don't think the ball in play time, which is, you know, the amount of time that you see the actual, the, the players actually playing. So not, not including when the ball's kicked in a touch or it goes dead or you're waiting for a dropout or a kickoff. The actual ball in play time has never been as high. And there's been rules changed uh, to make it that way. I think that's the NRL were concerned about how much dead time there was. That's why the scrum was removed. Um, and now that there's a, it's a quick changeover where the ball goes into touch and the, 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 the opposing team just brings it infield and plays the ball. So there's no doubt there's more stress on the players' bodies. And they're playing enormous amounts of games as well. Mate, this is, you know, I understand sometimes when the RLPA and the NRL clash uh, last year, I think it was. And it's very hard for a fan because you're sitting there, you're going... I love this game. Come on, boys. Like, I wish I could play rugby league and you're whinging about the amount of games you play and you're on a big wicket. So I get it. I understand where the fans are coming from with that. But this is why the RLPA, in my opinion, dug their heels in so much about the NRL being able to add on more games yep. without having to ask them. I think it was two that the NRL was saying. Each year they could add two or something along those lines. Um, look, I would, I'm happy to see the stats and compare it year on year and also you know maybe even decade on decade on decade. And maybe just because we're more focused on injuries these days, but it definitely does feel like there's been an increase in injuries. And logically, it seems like, okay, if we're going to increase the muscle mass, increase the weight, the fitness, the power, the speed, everything, Mm. plus we're going to increase the amount of uh, uh, repetitions of a game, so the amount of games we do each week, plus the training is going to be harder, plus all, like, in no areas of the game, are we reducing the load or no. stresses on the body? We, we've only increased it. And so I would love for there to... Because the problem is, is that this isn't from a position of like, oh, poor rugby league players and, and you know being soft. This is from a position of, if you want the best product every week, you need to protect the players from injuries. Yeah. Um, because well, if, by yeah. The, if you want yeah. the best product every week, mate, you need, you need the players out there, right? Exactly. <laughs> they are exactly. the product. At and, the end of the, the reason, day, they are the product. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and the reason I say that is like, we're all guilty of it. When Origin comes around, how excited are you for club footy? Honestly. Sorry, is it, well, is it on? 
Exactly, exactly. And that's and that's coming from a fringy. I'm a fringy. So, like, I'm the guy that got the start, you know? Um, and so I do think that they may – I hope they are looking into this and, and really – I understand more games equals more revenue, mm. but more games are less quality. Does that equal more revenue? I'm not sure whether it does or it doesn't. Love to hear your thoughts in the uh, text, guys. 0457 736 736. Um, it's it's a conundrum because I get it. It's a product, and when you you take that product, you want to have the the most quantity of that product to people that are buyers, which mm-hmm. are the networks, which are the you know punting all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you? Am I off the mark here, Smithy? What what are your thoughts, man? I I think overall, um, <clears throat> it, it's hard to know, right, without seeing um, black and white numbers on because I, I'd like to think that the RLPA and the NRL, I know the, I'd like to think the clubs would at least have some sort of figures or stats um, on how many injury, injuries that they that has been sustained in the NRL over the past couple of years. I, I think they do run numbers and, and make sure that they stay on top of that. Um, as a business, if, if, you, if you're not doing that, then it's not an overly professional business, right? Yeah. Um, because you're not, you're not taking care of the welfare of your employees. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, it, it's hard to say, is this a worse year than – than we've seen in previous years, and is it because of the games? I, I just think that – I just wanted to state that, you know, from from a player's point of view, the game has never been faster. And and they're playing more game time than they have in, I think, the last 15 years, 20 years even, Yeah. Um, you know, with, with the amount of time that the ball's actually in play. And and you're right uh, how you mentioned too, the, like the body shape has changed so much. Like they are so big and strong these days, oh, it's massive. Like you, you look across the lineups of an NRL team. Like if if you ever get an opportunity live at a game and you, and you're sitting down almost on the ground level, just have a look across like the seventeen when they line up. They are giant men, giant. Well, like you, there's an argument. Most wingers or a lot of the wingers today would be front rowers twenty years ago, genuinely. Mm. Yeah. Um, with their size and their strength. Now, I understand the front rowers, if they got the same sports science that these players got, would be bigger. I get that. Mm-hmm. But if you just took a, a winger, like a few of the wingers, like your Sivos, your Toos, your Blake Fergusons, your, you know, D- uh, Dallin, yep. all these these boys are big, big boys yep. and could play in the middle of, of, you know, 20 years ago or so. Yep. Um, now, yeah, we'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. You know, as I said, it may be just because it's the big name, so we're going, whoa, oh, that's a lot. And yeah, maybe if we went right. back through the numbers, there's no difference. And if there is no difference, that that we would obviously sit here and say, oh, mm. hey, by the way, guys, we've got the numbers in. There isn't no difference. We just seem to be more focused on it uh, because maybe the, the landscape has changed. But we're going to head to a break. After the break, we've got plenty more Rugby League to talk about, plus your techs.